All right, I think we need to talk about the Momo Player 12, the latest and greatest version of Momo Player, previously known as Momo Player X. And Momo Player X was in beta and in stable version, they changed the name to Momo Player 12 because it's running the Android 12. Actually, this was the first Android emulator to run a Android 12 plus also the first Android emulator to introduce a Vulkan support. As always, the performance is like top notch. I have made a couple of videos in this Android emulator. And if you have seen those videos, then you know this Android emulator is actually really good compared to other Android emulators. Now, finally, the Android 12 version of uh, Momo Player is in stable, which means it's gonna be even better. Now, this Momo Player 12 looks completely different. They have completely changed the UI user interface. As you can tell just by looking at it, uh, there is no side buttons or no, nothing like that. Actually, you can find them right here. Most important buttons are at the top, like go back and uh, key mapping. Everything just feels new. Even if you go to the settings, you can see, wow, just look at this. It's beautifully designed. And don't even talk about the performance. It's super fast. And as you can see, it's running the Android 12. There are some games which runs really good on Vulkan, and there are some games which doesn't run well on Vulkan support. So you may have to switch in between DirectX and Vulkan. Now let's talk about the RAM and CPU usage because that's one of the most important thing in Android emulator. So right now I'm not doing anything in Mumu Player and you can see it also not using much RAM and CPU. Most of the Android emulators actually use some amount of CPU and RAM even if you don't do any activities in them. But this one is built different. So now let's uh, launch one game. And yeah, it's a pretty good game. High graphics and everything. So this is called Standoff 2. And I'm going to go to the CPU usage. And you can see it's pretty good, actually. Only 200 megabytes of RAM. When the game is loading, it might go above like 50, 60, even 70%. But when I'm in game, I'm just going to load up the uh, death match actually. And you can see when game is fully loaded, uh, CPU usage isn't that high. I'm going to become a terrorist. How about that? <laughs> Turn on the always on top. So I'm just going to leave it here. And now let's play some games. All right. So you can see this thing is using 1% of the actually 1 or 2% of the CPU or maybe I have to go like this yeah so you can see this is the main thing uh, which is actually running the Mumu player Mumu VM headless front end so this is what you have to look when you're doing the test or whatever just like me right <laughs> so you can see it's not using that much it's only using 20 uh, percent of the CPU. Now, look at this game. This is actually a pretty good game. I'm going to go full screen. Yeah, just like that with the task manager. And uh, oh, look at me. I, oh, <laughs> so you can see we are monitoring the CPU usage. And this game is actually beautiful. All right. I'm not going to say this is the heaviest game in this world, but pretty decent game with one of the best graphics in uh, mobile games all right so let's actually play the game so i'm gonna run this in background and boom look at me i'm so good oh look at me there are actually this is a team deathmatch right so look at this no hiccups no nothing because we know it's not using much ram and cpu I need to change the sensitivity, man. I'm really bad. So you can see this game is pretty decent. All the graphics and everything. And it's running like a butter. I'm not gonna lie. I just want to get the better gun. I have shotgun. Who the hell plays with the shotgun? Okay, I think I get the rifle now. Um, oh, I'm actually having fun. You know what? To test this emulator even further, I'm going to play a couple of games in my gaming channel, 
maybe like even in beta this thing was absolutely amazing android emulator as i have tested this this thing runs like butter <laughs> okay I, I have high sensitivity <laughs> uh, this is not good for a sniper you need to be i'm just gonna sit here oh oh they are the enemies oh okay don't kill my friend come on come on oh <laughs> okay so you can see i'm not i have you know this thing is just amazing i don't think i need to talk much about this android emulator uh, you can test this by yourself you can just take my word i actually have pretty decent pc and that's not the reason that this thing is running well actually uh, if you go to uh, you know performance tab and go to gpu section you can see there are a lot of gpu usage you know what that means this thing actually utilizes the gpu more than the uh, cpu and ram which is actually great like you play any pc game they will definitely use some amount of gpu plus some amount of your cpu so this android emulator is optimized like a pc game so it can utilize both cpu and gpu i have not tested this with the integrated gpu like intel's and gpu or something like that which comes with the cpu but i'm pretty sure that if you have a decent you know uh, cpu this thing will still run really well and try switching in between direct x mode and vulcan mode one of them will definitely give you better user experience or performance and that's all you need to actually change and you can also configure the performance uh, i have set it to high so i can get the maximum performance uh, you can set it to medium low and you can also customize it like have a custom everything right and as i said i'm gonna be testing this even further uh, by playing random games and you know all that and one more thing just you know nothing is perfect i'm not saying this is the best android emulator it has everything and all that performance wise plus it's the new ui and everything this is really good maybe the best android emulator out there the only problem i see right now with this android emulator is that it doesn't have key mapping presets for the games even if you download the most popular games like pubg cod or even stumble guys like this is a huge game right now in mobile uh, 100 million plus downloads it doesn't have the key mapping you'll have to create your own uh, key mapping that's the only problem i see why i'm mentioning this is because there are some android emulators out there like blue stacks ld player they actually have presets for most of the most popular android games out there like pubg even this game stumble guys if you download this on those android emulators you'll see that there is a key mapping preset available already but with this android emulator you'll have to create your own key mapping presets so actually i can show you let's say you downloaded this game now how do i control this with my mouse and keyboard click on this keyboard icon at the top all right then it will say no keyboard and mouse plan uh, you have to click on new plan and then there is a tutorial on how to use the key mapping actually they have a new style of key mapping everything is just changed in this android emulator it doesn't have the same user interface as the other android emulators almost all the android emulators actually have kind of similar user interface but this thing is like completely different so to actually add any key binding you'll have to right click and then it will show you the options uh, like direction WASD all right uh, one click slide aim camera movement fire right click skill casting it has everything what most of the android emulators have in key mapping settings but just works differently i mean it works similarly but you just have to add it differently it has the you know pop-up uh, style user interface i mean you can click on this tutorial icon and then um, yeah follow the tutorial but you already seen this video so you don't have to watch that tutorial once you're done click save and play your game you can also use gamepad 
I don't have any gamepad. I know some people like using gamepads rather than keyboard and mouse. So look at me. So you can see I forgot to add the jump key mapping. I'm just gonna do it quickly. Come on, come on, edit, space. Oh, I'm gonna lose. Am I gonna lose? Oh, let's go full screen. I just don't want to lose, All right? Oh, I think there are many people. Oh, okay. <laughs> this game is also fun. Oh, that boulder hit me. Okay, I think oh, five people qualified. Only uh, 10 people left for qualification. Come on, I can do this. I think I did it. Even though I was like really slow. I did it. Yay. <laughs> That's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully, I think, uh, maybe maybe in future, uh, this Android emulator will also have the presets for games. Yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye bye.